Welcome to Mimi's Sketchbook. Today I'm going to show you step by step how to draw this cute little surprised bunny. So let's get going. We're going to start our little boy bunny here and I'm going to try and find about a third of the way down here. This is going to be where his head is and this is going to be his body. So I'm going to start and we're going to be thinking of triangles, softened triangles. And sometimes it's good to put a line down the center of our drawing if we're doing something symmetrical and this is a symmetrical drawing. So I'm going to bring this here, head here. I'm going to continue on and put a little definition in here. And this will be his cheeks come out a little bit more. And I'll get rid of the bottom of that triangle. And then he is looking down, so I'm going to bring his shoulders kind of here and bring his body kind of in a triangle again, triangle. I want it about the same on both sides of our line. And his legs are splayed out, so I am going to, this would be the top of his legs, like this, and I want them to come down here to fill up this space, so I'm going to Put a line here, from here. Do you see the triangle again? There's the triangle. This won't be seen. And let's put the triangle over here. The legs are going to be splayed out and kind of in a triangular shape. Then I'm going to attach the foot here, just an oval, and have it tipped out, the toe tipped out. That's kind of a natural way the foot goes. Tip it out. And next we have, let's look at our ears. We need some ears. So I'm not going to connect them. I'm going to leave a little space up here. I'm going to bring the line out and bring it down and in. And you Put a little curve here to connect so it's like skin and they don't have to be the same put some skin on that like that and then it needs a little of the ear where it kind of overlaps there so it gives it that little bit of dimension and let's put his and so he's going to be holding that little chick egg here. So I'm going to put it right in the middle because he's holding it with two hands. Imagine his arm. I'm going to draw very lightly. How would the arm bend? Where would it go to? So sort of like this. So I'm going to bring it here and here. Now this is narrower at the weight, at the wrist. So it's going to go like that. Do the same thing over here. I'm going to make a triangle, bring it in, touch the egg, and then make that triangle so it's narrower at the wrist. And right here, I'm just going to stop. I can erase this, and I can erase this. I don't need those at that anymore. Or this, or this. And I'm just going to put his little bunny hand extended over because it would be holding it like that. And if you want, you could put like a tiny little suggestion of a thumb like that. But the bunnies don't have thumbs, but they don't sit like this either, do they? Here we have him looking down. Should we put the, the chicken? So we're going to have 
an exaggerated crack, just like up, down, up, down, up. And then we need our little baby chick, big enough so we can see him, coming out of the egg. There's his head. And just the tiny little beak. Triangle. Another triangle. And then we'll put in a dot and a dot. Okay. Now he's looking down. He's looking down, so we're going to put his eyes a little bit lower on his head. I'm going to put it just a kind of a long oval here and here. He's looking at this. little chick and then right down here I'm gonna put that little nose the bunny's nose so his head's down and he's looking at this amazing little chick I wonder if his ears shouldn't be a little bit more forward and I think they should I can change that let's Bring them a little more forward. He's, he's leaning down. So his ears wouldn't be so high up, would they? Does that kind of match? He's looking down at the chick. Okay, let's put a little shirt on him. There's the sleeves. And we can put a little collar. Something to break up that space and add a little bit. Of Most of t-shirts enough, don't you think? Okay, so now we can ink in. I'm just going to go over him with the fur, his fur, with a Prismacolor. This is a Prismacolor um, Sienna Brown. Just so he has just a little bit of soft fur texture here along the these lines just to soften it up a little bit just for fun see how it looks see if we like it if we don't like it we don't have to do it again and I'm just kind of being sketchy here now should he have shoes on or should he have just bare feet he has a shirt Better put shoes on them. Okay, let's start by painting his round fur in. And I don't want it too red. There's a lot of nice browns to choose from in my watercolors. I'm using a Koi 48 colored watercolor set. It's a field watercolor set. And um, boy, so many colors to choose from. It's wonderful. And if you are in need of one, or just want to treat yourself to something really fun, these are available on Amazon. They're the only place I found them. And they're actually a terrific price for all of the colors that this has. Um, actually, it's cheaper. I don't know how it can be cheaper than some of the smaller ones. 
but there's lots of paint in here. And if you're interested, you can go and there's a link under this video in the blog or in YouTube. There's a link, so take you right to it because this, I'm really enjoying using this and having all these colors available so I don't have to mix. So if you don't like to mix, I don't mind mixing. I just like to paint fast and it's fun to have all of these colors. Oh my gosh, there's uh, how many browns? One, two, three, four, five, six browns and then some uh, more ochre colors, oxide colors, and lots and lots of choices. I think I'm going to go with a soft little turquoise for his shirt. I like turquoise. I like blue. I'm a blue fan. And when I paint around um, little edges where I need to be careful, I'm going to hold my brush up and use the tip. That way I have more control and I can get to tiny little corners. I like the brown and the turquoise together. And this is just a simple little painting, not a big deal. Just simple and sweet. I think I'm going to use the same color for his little shoes. And we need a little color in his ears. So I'm going to put a little kind of coral. Not too much. We don't want him to be pink. And then I'm just going to add a little bit more of this, his uh, fur color, kind of diluted. dark you want a little darker down here where it goes into this ear canal okay I like this color so far we want to paint our little chick and we're gonna use a bright yellow so the chick stands out a little orange for his beak. Just a touch. And his shell I'm going to leave white. We have our little girl here. We have our little boy. So to make them kind of a matching pair, give them a little of the same style. I'm going to put a little oval ring of eye or wreath. Just a little like frame around her that she has. And I'm going to just ink in the got to draw it in down. Be careful I don't touch. This, I'm just I'm gonna I broke up the line a little bit definitely want it to go behind him and so I'm just going to bring the little leaves this you could go and what could you do with all these this could be for Easter this could be for a little boy birth um, baby card. 
you could draw these two um, or frame them, put them next to each other. That would look cute. What else could we do with them? All kinds of things. The people with the best ideas are always my students. And as with the little girl, I think I'm going to know what I want to put. I would take my selection of cards and put them behind my painting and see which color I like best. The green was good, the blue I really like, that pink, that's all right, but yeah. nope, well that's okay, I mean it's fine, it would be great. That's cute with the orange, same color as the chick and the beak. That would be nice. Which one do you like? I liked the blue for the girl. I don't know. I'll just have to wait and see. But it's nice to have a big selection of cards so you can choose just the right color and you're not stuck with some color that just doesn't enhance the picture. So thank you for coming to Mimi's sketchbook and I hope you try to draw this. We just used triangles, rounded them out, measured out. You can do this and um, if you enjoyed it please give me a like, subscribe so you know when I make another video, and thanks for coming. Bye.